he's literally been in DS's custody for and there's been a lot of drama back and forth. Um, we know that there are very heavy, very hefty allegations against him. Um, you know, there's the talk of how he was brought back to Nigeria and all that, but you know, there's a lot. So I I don't know how this is gonna go, but this moving this case indefinitely means that we don't know he doesn't even know when this is going to end so indefinitely could mean tomorrow indefinitely could mean four years time ten years time but definitely we'll see where that comes from or where that is going to um quickly talking about security issues um the um defense headquarters as today released names of 19 most wanted terrorist kingpins and commanders under um manhunt for troops and security agencies mm. um very interesting mm. name that popped up uh sonny dangote had popped up there there are a lot of all the people from um zanfara state there's ibelu toji um there's alaji ado alieru mm. <laughs> on that you know that basically they have released 19 names on that list for um people and they've also offered um announced offer of five million naira each for information leading to whereabouts and arrest of each of these terrorists yeah like one of the names that you um, mentioned toji mm-hmm. is um situated in zamfara state that's where okay. his own op- claims to uh, be so a good guy now. To work, it, with, work, the work with, the with the government, with the government and, and all of that. They say no. They're not interested in in that. Um, also talking about um, a bit of security. This was news that we had talked about about two weeks ago, and this is the person of a Lagos socialite and owner of Adikaz Hotels, Alaji Adimola Afolabi Kazim, that was said to have been on the run after. Um, two people were arrested sorry a lagos brt driver on 27th of june was arrested at muritala mohammed international airport um where um, bolu joko babalola who's said to be one of his meals mm. and um with interrogation they said that this person was caught with 900 grams of cocaine where he had ingested and it's said to have been owned by this adikas and um there was also talks about how they were looking for him and now the ndla has come out to say that he's finally been apprehended after 10 days of him being declared wanted uh, you poor quiet all right so <laughs> while talking about gathers is taught uh, kudos to the men of very, the ndla very, very good yeah. we'd like to commend them and uh, yeah. ask that they do more and continue to do what they're doing mm-hmm. i like the strategy that they have adopted now we hear about huge you know drug bust it's not just the regular meals that have been yeah no, they're going now after they're the going king after king. the kingpins and the drug barons and all of that and this is a welcome development so a big shout out to uh, general buba marwa and his entire team i think they're, they're doing, doing i think they're doing a great they're job um again all that glitters is not gold the, the person in question now is alleged now until the court pro- proves it mm-hmm. otherwise yeah. but you look at them they call them socialites you know you know why because they they, 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 they they throw down the biggest and the best parties you know they wear the best clothes and they they flashy they live a flashy life musicians you know? sing praises of them yeah. sing all the time they own hotels and all the entertainment hubs they're just all over so look at one of the meals that was arrested. A BRT bus driver. Now, if he had succeeded, if he had succeeded, he would have uh, he come back. He would definitely not come back as a BRT. Oh yeah, no, would, no. He, he would have been fully paid. Arrived. And yeah. the next thing you will see is that he buys a car or two and moves out of wherever he is living in at the moment to a better yeah. neighborhood. In quote. We don't know how much it will be paid. Maybe it will be paid enough to even buy a buy a house or rent an apartment somewhere. But if bottom line is that there will be a marked improvement in his social standing. Mm-hmm. So before you know it, he becomes you know a big boy, mm-hmm. and this is where we've lost it completely as a people and as a nation, yeah. where 
we don't care the source of people's wealth status quo changes immediately and everybody starts to hail you know ah the guy is fully paid so kudos to the ndlea the drug law enforcement agency mm-hmm. for an amazing job amazing amazing job um quickly let's go to a bit of politics but before we get to politics um governor we sure. is in the news again where he has now invited president buari um former governor of edo state and um, an apc chieftain adam zoshiomole and um the labor party presidential candidate peter will be to inaugurate projects in river state it's a week-long thing which um, is start is starting today and will end on Friday. No, my question is, is um, what is it called? When is Barry coming back? Well, mm-hmm. you can't ask us. You should ask. I, 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 okay, thank you, you should ask his uh, media team. No, I think. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> it, it said that um, his Barry is supposed to commission the new um nigeria okay. the law school um campus on friday okay. so maybe the president will be back by before, then before friday yes yeah, yeah, so maybe he'll friday. be back okay. by then but it's interesting yeah we see a lot of him um, we see a lot of projects being um inaugurated by him we see him also inviting a lot of people mm-hmm. that are not you know his party stalwarts and you know yeah. there's there's a lot of drama around Governor Wiki anyway. Cutting across all the party lines. Yeah. Um, now, talking about um, elections coming up, INEC has now come to say, has now announced that um, the Ondose chapter has commenced the display of voters' register across 18 local government areas of the state. Um, last week, we talked about Ebony starting their own. We know that it is... Um, a compulsory pre-election exercise mm-hmm. where every single polling union every ward is supposed to get a list of uh, registered voters mm-hmm. there that said that um, according to the statement from INEC office in Undo State they said that they had started um, November 12th and it will end November 25 so okay. so for those State, of you who are registered to vote for those of you who have like the track. TVCs and uh, you're going to get your PVCs yeah. once this register gets to your neighborhood please check. take time out to go and check and ensure that you are going to yeah. vote ensure that you vote because your vote counts and it matters just to extend is our way can we just stick to doing things quickly and early enough Brilliant. that's that's just basically Brilliant. it yeah. um now um the presidential candidate of the african action congress um omayele shawore has now gotten you know some substantial amount of money for towards his campaign where there was <laughs> why are you laughing no no it wasn't, it wasn't. there was this was during the shawore campaign global okay. mega fundraising global wow. mega why wow. why that's wow. a lot so he got some money though oh yeah yeah it said that some people got he got as much as his first donor was a hundred pounds then someone gave him two hundred thousand hundred thousand twenty thousand fifty thousand ten thousand there was twenty five thousand there was a five thousand someone donated fifty euros and you know different people with um someone donated as much as a thousand dollars to his campaign and um it, it's it's nice to get you know hear yeah, these things. Yeah. I, I just have a question though that so, he again brought, he brought, yes. a, apart from that the, there was even someone that uh, tweeted that she's trying to raise a millionaire that she already donated one million and asking for people to match the to one match million score, yeah, yeah. On, 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 on twitter and all of that so if you're a supporter of um Sure, please support his campaign. Do you know, you and put do. your money where your mouth is. Yes, yeah. Everybody knows that we have about nineteen presidential candidates, so we have nineteen feel options. Free, yeah, feel free to pick one of them and support them with your full chest. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You know, my only fear is that I think there's a law against. Uh, diaspora exactly. contributions. That's, that's what I was gonna ask. So if it wasn't enforced before, 
now that there's an electoral uh, the electoral yeah, act yeah. has been newly signed and it's really becoming you know as to so be careful yeah i hope shore will not Run b- burn himself, burn with, himself with with that. also going all the way to gombe the new nigeria people's party nnpp has um received about two thousand members from the ruling apc and pdp in Kaltungo local government area oh, of really? the state. That, that's in 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 Gombe. Gombe. In Gombe state, I think that that is um, that's a good that's a good one. They have called. left their parties. Oh and yeah, they they like moved. Decamped, yeah, yeah okay. they've decamped to AMP. Sorry, NNPP. NNPP. Yes. They have moved to NNPP. Also talking about um, defecting. Um, they about PDP members. Some PDP members had moved. From um, they moved to the APC in Kaduna State, where um, the Kaduna State um, governorship candidate Senator Uba Sonny had received is said to have received twelve thousand eight hundred and seventeen PDP members, including a former commissioner, the women and youth leaders in the state, in the um, party in the state. D- defection from party to party, cross captain even at the supporters level it is allowed it's it's, it's, it's a part it's, of um, yeah our politics exactly. and all and you know i think nigeria might be unique in this i don't know of any other country that everybody I, else moves there yeah, <laughs> I, I don't you know yeah because you see a lot of people they stick with their ideologies and come what may but recently the midterm elections just uh, happened in in the u.s mm-hmm. Oh, they're saying vote blue, vote red. You think those were the only parties in the U.S.? No. You know, there are options. You can even be an independent uh, candidate if you want to. Mm-hmm. I remember the great Rose Perot, Rose Perot, who used to contest for presidency every yeah. four years with his money. You yeah. know, a billionaire that used his money, you know. And um, so, oh, yeah, despite of what you've said, Shola, my concern is really, yeah. why do we frequently experience that here? I... I Personally, I think that what, what we're reasons? a lot more. Don't don't don't, don't press me so, about democracy. No 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 I don't, no I don't I'm think sorry. it's democracy. No, I'm sorry. I think that is I don't think it's democracy. I think that we are um, we're more. I, would I say selfish? Oh. Because really, if it is about um, the people, and the people don't want you or they don't vote you or you've tried some things internally and you don't get it. Then you shouldn't have a problem like you probably help the pressing closest that you think okay can help you actualize mm-hmm. the plan that you're talking about as well but if you feel that you you want something by all means and you need to get it come what me then i think there's a problem that i think is greed i think it's a little bit of greed and a little bit of being selfish i'm i'm going to disagree slightly and say it's not all about that alone not saying that what you have said is wrong but that there are other reasons like especially when you talk about greed you must be talking about a politician you know maybe an, an office holder or an aspiring office holder but now we're talking about 12,800 members of the pdp crossing to the apc in Cardona and another 2,000 members of the apc and pdp crossing from the apc and pdp to the nmpp in gombe is it because of a fallout of policies so it, it could be so many things it could be the fact that they feel aggrieved in the party that they are in at the moment it could be part of the fact that they might have had negotiations with them before they got to the point where they're like oh so you guys are going to marginalize us you know okay, and all of that so they're gonna go all oh, maybe they're offered um, a, a better chance to actualize some of their goals as a community as a people you get because now we're talking numbers yes we also know because i'm not gonna act, act like yeah, i don't know that some of them are Could also be, controlled be, by yeah. the politicians that have greed nah, the have, control uh, and that yeah. the looper was referring to the yeah. greedy ones right yeah. they could be controlled by them but at times it's, it's also about them trying what to leverage want. on you know their positions to get some things done for them collectively mm-hmm. as a group okay so um quickly before we go just wanted to put it out there i forgot or thought that we're going to be able to talk about it but maybe we'll talk about it in depth tomorrow but air peace asthma air and um others um the nigeria united airlines and a few other nigerian airlines are suing the federal government 
over the selection of the Ethiopian Airlines as its national carrier partner and they're also demanding about a two billion naira compensation i know the bottom line is that they're saying that they were not involved the federal government is saying that ethiopian airlines when this was put out ethiopian airlines were the only ones that put out a bid mm -hmm. for this so but I'm, I'm sure that tomorrow we would have time to actually break this down and talk about it on that note that is all we're able to take today on the boomba thank you very much for listening thank you for watching and um, we're very sorry for the video that keeps cutting off um it is um things Forward beyond changes. our control yeah. um thank so you now. for very very much for the comments we'll be back again tomorrow at 3 p.m west african time it is boomba on your boom radio ng have a beautiful beautiful day ahead